Go ahead. When Gail was diagnosed with breast cancer, um, you know, there was a lot of, there were a lot of questions and there was a lot of anxiety initially. And, you know, there's a lot of horror stories when you just browse through things on the internet. And Gail really looked to the American Cancer Society for getting quality, detailed information. Um, she gathered information, she learned about her disease, she got her diagnosis, and then for her, she just, she said, okay, I know what I've got, I know what I'm up against, and she put it behind her. Um, so, so she used the American Cancer Society for a, a great resource to gather information she needed. And she relied on the American Cancer Society for numerous other things. Along the way, she uh, participated in the Look Good, Feel Better, Look Good, Feel Better program. And you know that was just a, a great thing to boost your your spirits. And I think Gail's approach to this disease all along was, I'm going to be positive. I'm going to attack this head on. Um, but being positive just just made our lives great. I mean, she was just such a positive patient, and really didn't let it interfere with the quality of our life. We had a great life in the ridiculously short amount of time that we unfortunately had as a family together. But uh, the American Cancer Society was great in terms of some of the programs they had and in terms of the information they provided. But I'd say above and beyond all that, what it meant most to Gail was she knew that she needed a silver bullet in order to beat metastatic breast cancer. And her real only hope for that was someone, some super smart person, smarter than she or I, coming up with just that perfect lock and key uh, therapy that would just put her cancer in remission. And, uh, you know, so her great hope was that we were gonna be raising some of the money to fund that person in some lab somewhere who's gonna find that elusive silver bullet. Um, and that is really why we walk for making strides. Um, and in addition to that, I think the positive energy that she got from the walk was just incredible. I mean, our team that comes together, we walked with 60 to 100 people many years, and you know, all in a sea of aqua blue t-shirts for Gail's kicking cancer's butt team. And uh, you know, just our team alone just just provided so much power and energy, and it was just a wonderful day. But when we got out to the hatch in Boston to do the walk, the walk, and you would be in a sea of thousands and thousands of people, I think 35,000 people were walking at times. I mean, the energy that you felt from that was incredible. And Gail always said she felt like everyone was walking for her. And um, so, you know, the walk, I think, both inspires individuals who need that inspiration. And it's, it's raising money to do great things for people who don't have resources and need some help getting to their treatment, who need that boost with the Look Good, Look Good Feel Better program, who need um, some support from someone who's traveled this road before them in the Reach for Recovery program. Uh, and probably most of all for, for funding research to find those hopeful magic treatments that are going to make women um, get that cure in their lifetime.